Hajmo na društvene mreže da vidim koga to brzimo At some point, somewhere after 20 years existence of one band you figure out that you should probably do something with somebody else and that was the most normal thing to think of Edo was the most most uh, most obvious person out there because whatever I heard from him, whatever the whole band heard from him, was like I wrote it. I'm just not not that <laughs> good in writing uh, rap lyrics and hip hop lyrics. Otherwise, I would do it. It's pretty much that's it, and and kind of reminded me on what I wanted to be when I was his age, and that's pretty much that. That was the time his. Current age is the time where I switched from the commercial to the non-commercial music. It was just a natural symbiosis, I think. Me and Gino, we think pretty much similar. We, we both had a refugee experience and uh, he's, he's, uh, he has a little bit different perspective from the, from the little bit older, older um, generations, you know, like, like my brother is. And I'm pretty much familiar with these experiences uh, also from this generation. I think that this, for this generation was the worst, you know, because they they were men when all this shit happens, you know. It's not easy. I was a child. I was uh, 13 years old when all the shit happens in happened in uh, in Bosnia. So for me, it was different experience, you know. But it's uh, we understand each other pretty much, and uh, we, we we did the tracks really fast, really fast. the tour last year we did this uh, live record then we started considering what we're gonna do for the 20th anniversary of the band and uh, then the refugee crisis in uh, uh, in the Mediterranean dropped in so we decided to dedicate the whole live record to that consequently that that led us in a different direction instead of doing a celebratory album of some kind we wanted we wanted to do something that's completely unusual something we've never done before something that kind of rattles uh, rattles us a little bit and challenges uh, challenges the band as a whole, and and in a way puts us out of the comfort zone. So Gina and I started uh, talking about this collaboration with uh, uh, with another artist or artists, and uh, Elo Micah came as a first choice because we both have loved them. And I remember uh, years ago when I first somebody introduced me to his Mater Vam Jeben video, and I was like, God. Damn it! I really like this guy. Then I then I saw him in Zagreb the first time we met uh, uh, backstage at Formitz, and I was like, I really really like this guy. Then we ended up playing a festival in Orahovitz, and we got stuck backstage drinking beer because the show was running really late. And I was like, I really 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 like this guy. So uh, when uh, when it came to figuring out who would be a good match for something some off the wall project. It was just like, it was a complete uh, agreement. It's like, yeah, let's invite Edo, let's work with Edo. That, that would be, uh, that would be the, the way to go. <laughs>